Hello viewers, this is Traskinari. We're back with more Let's Play Six Days of Sacrifice. Alright, we fixed the fuse box. Now it's time to go get into the hub. The hub. The hub. The hub is... Uh oh. The hub is open. Where's Janine? She went on ahead. I tried to stop her. But she just ignored me. Come on. Let's go. Hey, more trilbies. What's this? Who are you? We are doormen. Our task is to stand here, always. Did a woman pass through here? Yes. Why didn't you stop her? Our task is only to stand here. Not to monitor who goes in or out. Oh, you are useless. Ugh. Are these clones? What? Are those clones of me? Uh, yeah, I think so. Am I a clone? Yes. Huh. I did consider it as one of the likelier possibilities. It pretty much explains everything, especially those, you know, clone chambers. Shall we continue? Um, sure. Wow, Trilby's rather accepting of all this. Are we going in? I'm scared. You don't know what to expect? I see what's in there on the security camera. Just a bunch of ancient ruins. Or is it? But I don't know. It's like what Janine talked about, a completely irrational fear. Janine may be in danger. I know. I know. Okay, let's do this. Leron Jenkins! Whoa. What? This place is familiar. This is Dockaby. Janine? What? What's going on? Where am I? Theo? Are we in the hub? I think so. But this isn't the ruin I saw. I know this place. John Defoe. This is where he lives. How do you know? Because this is where I destroyed him. Where I thought I destroyed him. Where I tied his spirit to his bones and set him ablaze. No, it... Look out! What the hell was that? What's happening to the walls? N no Not you! No! What? Um, Janine, wait! Do you understand, Theodore Dakabe? No! No, I do not understand! I don't understand why I'm being put through this nightmare. I don't understand the things I'm seeing. I don't understand why you can't give me a simple, straight answer. If straight answers are what you require, then I will accommodate you. The house you saw is called Defoe Manor. It does not, however, physically exist. It is a construct of John Defoe's mind, a manifestation. So why the hell is it here? When John Defoe died, his mind and body went into his house. When Trilby burnt it down 200 years ago, he assumed that both were destroyed. But the infection of Defoe's mind clung to the ruins, and to the very land on which it stood, even while his body burned away. The Order of the Blessed Agonies built this facility around it. Measures had to be taken, however, to ensure that the infection would not spread. What measures? Let me reiterate what the cultists asked you. Why was Samantha Hardy employed to clone Trilby, of all people, multiple times? I haven't got a clue. Clues you have plenty of. Think, Dockaby. Why Trilby? John Defoe is scared of him. Why do you say that? Back there in the manor. As soon as Trilby was removed, everything started going berserk. Indeed, berserk, whatever. For a wraith, being crammed back inside your rotting bones is a traumatic and painful experience. I would think so. Then to be shot down, set in a light, and unable to die, feel the constant agony of body and mind reduced to ash. Trilby's a douchebag! Until then, John Defoe feared only his father. Afterwards, Trilby was, in his mind, the embodiment of pain. His mere presence acts as a ward against Defoe. 
Chobi was, from then on, utterly immune to Defoe's corrosive influence, although he never realized it. And only with the constant presence of Chobi throughout the complex could the evil of Defoe's mind be restrained within inside the hub. But the tall, thin man, the one in the coat, he's the head of the order, right? Correct. Why does he keep killing the Trilbys? That I do not know. But I do know that the more of them that die, the further Defoe bleeds into the surrounding complex. You may not have long. What will happen? Defoe is a creature of monstrous violence. Samantha Hardy's hate, fear, I was the only beginning. Oh God, J is Janine all right? Perhaps you should find out. Janine! Limp, limp Theodore! Limp for great justice! No, not again. No! Janine! Open the door! Janine, please! Please open the door! Janine, for God's sake! Open the damn door! Oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, Theo. I know. I'm just so scared. I know. It keeps happening. I don't even remember going into the hub. You blacked out? I was just waiting for you outside the door. Then I was nothing. And the next time I knew I was in that room in front of you. I'm scared out of my mind because there's something... Something's trying to take me over. Um, look at me, okay? Nothing's going to take you over. I'm not going to let that happen. I can feel it all around me. Watching. Whispering in my ear all the time. Ugh. Janine. Just hold me. Ah, I'm, I don't think that's very good for my, uh, broken bones. Oh. That's nice. Something tells me not to. Ooh. I ignore it. Attaboy, T Theo. Something tells me I'm taking advantage. I ignore it. Woo! Party boy! Something tells me to stop when it starts to hurt. Ugh. I ignore it. Bam, chicka wah wah chicka wah wah Evil raging outside the door. We comfort each other. Wow, do I even really need to... Ooh. Through love and pain, we bond. That's wonderful and kind of creepy. By the sixth day, we would both be dead. Ugh. That's not good pillow talk there, pal. Day four. July 27th, AD 2189. So, what is it now? What are you doing? No! Ugh. Whoa. Whoa. Violence. Lots of violence. Okay, get up. Hmm. Wow. Well, might as well take a break here. Let's save the game. This is Traskinari. Uh, tune in next time for the next episode of Let's Play Six Days of Sacrifice, and we'll start to see what's really going on here.